Well, the DPP no doubt shook the nation with the order for the arrest of the CS and the 27 other suspects. But while Rotich wasn't bundled into a police car, instead he surrendered to the police. Other suspects were arrested outside the capital and were brought to Nairobi for questioning and will spend the night in various police stations. My colleague Seth Olale is at the Mudaiga police station and has more on the long nights ahead for the suspects. Seth? Thank you very much. Well, there is heavy police presence here at the Mudega police station where we are reliably, reliably informed that the CS4 Treasury Henry Rotich together with the Principal Secretary Kamau Thuge are being detained, detained and the police are not allowing even the media to film just outside the gate where we usually do our piece to cameras. They're saying that this particular area is a no-go zone, but it is not only prohibited uh, for the media, but also for many other persons who want to gain access uh, to the Mudega police station. We had, we've seen brother lawyers, a uh, stream of lawyers just trying to trip inside the Mudega police station, but they have been denied access. Unknown persons have also arrived here with high-end cars, but they too are not allowed to gain access into the Mudega police station where is just like a kilometers from where I'm standing and the police, according to the police who respected us from even getting access from just near the gate, they're telling us that it remains a no-go zone. But remember that it is not just the CS Henry Rotich together with his PS Kamau Tuge who are being detained tonight. We also have the principal, former principal secretary for East Africa community, that is Susan Jemutai, we are being told that he's, she's being detained either at, at Gigiri Police Station or Kilenesha Police Station. Remember that they spent together with CS Henry Rotich and all the other suspects who were detained earlier on, they spent up to five hours at the DCI headquarters where they underwent an intense grilling accompanied by one lawyer each uh, representing the suspect. So it is a very restricted exercise here outside the Mudege police station where CS Henry Rotich is being held together with PS for Treasury, Kamau Duke. But right now, remember that it may be a long night or perhaps even a longer day for the suspects after having been informed, reliably informed that uh, the prosecution is intending to file a miscellaneous application in court tomorrow seeking further detention of the suspect. It may be seven days, it may be 14 days, but that is up to the courts tomorrow. But what we know is that it will be a long night for all the 27 suspects and perhaps even longer days ahead. They are in trouble over the Arod and Kimore dams. And my colleague Ken Mijungu has been examining the, how the numbers were moved and right now has what is now the making of the Karol and Kimorel dam scandal.